Hey y'all, I hope everyone had a turtly good Easter weekend. This is just a short video, mostly because I have a question to ask, and I was hoping you could help me out. It is a Raphael-related question, so about 25% of you will be very excited. <laughs> But that will be at the end of the video. Just to get started, I wanted to just show off my Raphael collection. It's not very robust. It's not like I was actively trying to collect as many as I could. It's just that as he's my favorite turtle, it's the one I got the most of as a kid. Unfortunately, it's not complete. I know that I have a troll turtle Raphael lurking somewhere that'll probably pop out in the middle of the night with a <laughs> with a butcher's knife in his hand. But this is the vast majority of them, as well as a few other knickknacks I threw in for aesthetics. Some of the highlights include this Raphael figure right here. I really like the design. I'm not too sure where it's from, but I'm sure that someone will be able to tell me swiftly and hopefully not too aggressively. <laughs> and then there's this pizza throwing Raphael here and he looks batshit crazy. It's great. He has seen some shit. He has done some shit. He is on some shit as we speak. I have two NECA figures. The Turtles in Time Raphael, as well as the 1990 movie version. Um, they're a little bit static at the moment because I only got them a few days ago. And I haven't warmed the joints yet. I'm still a little bit scared to fiddle with them too much, so they're a bit unanimated in their poses at the moment. But golly, they are gorgeous. Look at that detail. Then there's this desperately overcompensating Raphael. How is he a ninja? You would see him coming a mile away. Even just getting him to stand was a chore. This Raphael is allegedly able to flip, but it's a little bit easier said than done. Just like a real ninja. Of course, this was my first Raphael from when I was a little kid. He's seen better days. I also have a 25th anniversary version, which was signed by Kevin Eastman. He was such a cool guy. I'm really happy to have met him. And that's about it. Just wanted to flesh this video out a little bit more before I got to my question. And that question is, I've decided to do a review of some of the iterations of Raphael over the years and what I think of them. The problem is that there are too many for me to cover all of them in one video. A lot of the comics I've never read before, so I don't necessarily have access to all the material. But if you were to select the most significant Raphaels, the tentpole Raphaels, which ones would you choose? Obviously, I will look at the Mirage comics version, the 80s animated series version. I'll even do a little bit of a look into the video game versions. Probably not a lot of material there, but it should be fun. But the comics are the ones that I will need the most help with. So if you could let me know which ones I definitely have to include, please leave a comment down below. And without further ado, I will take my leave. I hope you got a little bit of a kick out of these figures. Again, it's not an impressive collection. It was just a Trojan video <laughs> for the question I had to ask. If you're into toys at all, I have a blog that I started about a decade ago where I take a look at my old toys before I give them away. The link is here on the screen as well as down in the description. Looking forward to hearing from you. Thanks for watching and thanks for turtling.